Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to install Genome Desktop on Linux Mint. Although there are many distros which come Genome Desktop pre-installed in them, like Ubuntu, Fedora, Manjaro, OpenSUSE, but trust me, installing Genome on Linux Mint is a rewarding experience because Linux Mint is easy to install, configure and maintain compared to many other distros. Although it is based on Ubuntu, it runs very stable than Ubuntu itself and due to the same reason it is compatible to various apps and packages built for Ubuntu and in case of any issues you will get help from Ubuntu community as well as Mint. So let's start it and note all terminal commands used here are listed in the video description. As you can see here this is freshly installed Linux Mint 21.2 XFC desktop and before doing anything I am going to update it first. Let's put the command. It will take some time so I am speeding it up. System is updated now it's time to reboot it. After reboot, we are back to our desktop. Now it's time to install Genome Desktop. Open the terminal and type the command. Installation of Genome Desktop has started. I am speeding it up a bit. During installation, it will prompt you to select Default Display Manager. Select GDM using your keyboard. OK. Speed up again. Installation is complete now. Let's reboot it. Upon reboot, you will be presented with this login screen. Select your username, select your desktop here and login. After login, you will be greeted by Genome Setup Wizard. You can skip it or configure it now. As you can see, we have logged into Genome Desktop. If there are any update prompt, install them. Now, as we are going to use Genome as default desktop from now on, we don't need XFC anymore. So let's remove it. Open the terminal and put the command. Note, during the removal, all XFC apps gets removed, but some necessary apps also gets removed. Some system services also gets disabled. Don't worry, we'll fix that later. XFC is removed. Let's remove some other component that we don't need. After completion, type this command to fix the services. After that, reboot. We are back to our desktop now. Let's continue fixing our system. Open terminal and type these commands. OK, our system is fixed now. Let's install required apps which got removed in the last step. Done. So, if you are using any hardware which needs proprietary drivers, it's time to install or update them. As I am using an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti. Let's install the driver for it. Open the driver manager. Choose the driver to install. It will prompt you for your password. Type it. I am speeding it up as it takes some time to complete. Reboot your system to load the drivers. So, we are back to our desktop again and you can see NVIDIA drivers are installed now. The vanilla genome desktop lacks some of the basic functionalities that we need for our daily uses. To enable them, we need to install some genome extensions. The easiest way to do that is to install Firefox genome browser add-on. So let's install it first. After installation, 
restart Firefox and install these three extensions one by one. Done. So we have successfully installed Genome on Linux Mint, removed unnecessary components and enabled some useful extensions. Now it's time for some system cleanup. Open terminal again and type these commands. Now, if you don't like waiting for the grab timeout or entering your password on each boot, you can perform these optional steps. First, enable auto logon to your account. Open settings, go to user settings, unlock it by typing your password and enable auto logon. Done. Now, it's time to reduce the grab timeout. To do that, Open terminal again and edit the grab config file using nano editor. Save the config and exit nano. Now apply the config. Reboot it to see it in action. As you can see we have reached our desktop directly this time. Our Linux main genome desktop is ready now. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and click the bell icon if you enjoyed watching this. See you in the next video.